recently put out a poll to see what was the most you'd consider paying for a single crochet hook, and over half of you capped it at $5. So what would convince you to pay four times that for a specialty hook, like these streamlined swirls from Furls Crochet? Today, I'm going to give a full, honest review of these hooks that I bought with my own money. We're going to evaluate some of the claims from the Furls website, and hopefully paint a realistic picture of whether or not the premium price tag is worth it for you. We'll start with my first impression of these hooks, and right out of the box, they're just as beautiful as I'd hoped. As much as I only want to evaluate a tool for its utility, I think that the aesthetic value of these hooks should not be understated. If you're going to be looking down at your project for hours and hours, you might want the whole scene to be pretty. And we take the time to find the yarns we think are the most beautiful, so why shouldn't we have the hooks to match? I love that each hook has its own character based on the random swirls of color. My smaller G hook got most of the swirls, as you can see, and pops of this minty green color that I love, so it was a pleasant surprise. One ding to the overall look are the logo and size labels. On this hook color, they're printed or maybe even slightly etched into the hooks in white, and the method they use doesn't produce the clearest results. The lines come off a little blurry, and on one of the hooks it didn't fully print some of the letters. These hooks are weighty, comfortable to hold, and give an expensive impression, which is what you'd want if you're dropping 22 bucks on a hook. I kind of feel like the narrow shaft of the 4mm is a little precarious, like it could be a weak point that might be prone to breaking, but only time will tell with that. It doesn't seem any thinner than any other plastic or resin inline hooks. So how was the experience of crocheting with these hooks? I'm going to start with the big ones. Smooth, fast, comfortable really enjoyable to crochet with. I really have no complaints, and I love how they elevate the experience of working with super bulky yarn. I have several chunky hooks that just look like children's toys, and I know I'm going to be reaching for the furls instead every time. Even when I crocheted a lot, I did notice less hand fatigue, especially the next day, which is when I usually notice it after a long crochet sesh. The extra long ergonomic handle did take a lot of getting used to. But even when I thought it was slow going, I'd switch back to my normal hooks and it felt like something was missing, like I was using a mini keychain hook or something, and the tension returning to the top of my hand was noticeable. Because of this hand fatigue improvement, I really wanted to love the smaller hook as well. But I've got a few things to say about it. I don't want to be too controversial because I know Furls has some diehard fans, but I actually didn't love working with the smaller hook. Let me explain. I'm a choker. I choke up on the neck of my hooks. It makes me feel like I have more control, like I'm more connected to what's going on at the hook end. And would you look at how long the neck of this hook is? Let's compare it to this little tapered hook I got from Daiso. Your natural thumb placement is here, close to the hook tip. And for the furls to sit comfortably in my hand, I wanted to hold it by the bulb, making me feel like my hook was way off in the distance. I still know what he's doing out there, but I gotta squint to see him, you know? I tried choking up on the furls hook, but that left the bulk of the weight of the hook shifted down towards my pinky, which gave me some hand strain. It felt kind of like when you have a heavy project on straight knitting needles. But I soldiered on working almost this entire sweater in the 4mm furls hook, and although I'm not crazy about how far my hand is from the tip, the ergonomic base did its job and I did notice less hand fatigue than usual. I actually really enjoyed this hook for smaller, slower, tension-intensive projects, like the slip stitches on the cuff of this sweater. And here I absolutely noticed an improvement in the stitch evenness touted on the company website. However, for more mindless, speedy stitch patterns, I felt like this hook slowed me down. Which is maybe something I need at the end of the day to save my hands. Going back to my old Susan Bates Silver Loom inlines gave me my speed back but the hand cramps return, so maybe now I'm actually still in the market for yet another ergonomic option. Let me know if you have any suggestions. One last nit 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 picky thing about the 4mm hook. I ran into a weird friction issue? Okay, so most of this sweater was made using a yarn that I'd consider right on the heaviest side of still being a DK weight. I would use a 4mm for this yarn, but it'd be a tighter gauge. So I think that's why, when I go to pull through the first loop of my single crochet, the yarn really snagged and rubbed, not on the hook, but against itself. The added friction from that really slowed me down, but it improved with lighter weight yarns.
Just to demonstrate this yarn on yarn rubbing again, I'll show you what it looks like with my silver looms. I don't run into the same issue with the same yarn, even though these are both four millimeter hooks. So something to consider if you're usually testing the limits of your hooks with yarn weights you choose, and if speed is really important to you. So depending on your yarn choice, you might wanna go up by a half millimeter, at least in the smaller hooks. So what are my main takeaways from the Furl's Streamline Swirls? Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I actually really appreciate the dignified elegance they give this often underappreciated arts and craftsy crochet thing that we do, and they deliver on the ergonomic promise of saving your hands. I'm a tight crocheter, I'm a fast crocheter, I'm a marathon crocheter, and I really noticed an improvement in comfort. Keep in mind, I don't have any conditions like arthritis, knock on wood, and I'm still pretty young and spry, so I can't really speak about how much it helps if you're really suffering. But now, scrolling through my phone contributes a lot more to hand cramps than crocheting does. I particularly loved the chunky hooks, and if they ever restock the galaxy purple color, I'm going to get a full set of these in sizes from about 6 millimeters and up. And to that point, I just want to mention one of the more interesting claims on Furls' website about their hooks, and it's that they retain their value? Well, they have special edition hooks quite often that also sell out. And depending on what happens, my only option for getting that full set of purple galaxy hooks might be to get them secondhand. So I wouldn't bet too much on the Beanie Baby effect, but there definitely seems to be something there. I could see how some of these hooks would retain their resale value or even maybe go up. Anywho, I'm not totally sold on the smaller hooks, and I'm still on the hunt for a beautiful, ergonomic hook option for five millimeters and smaller. So there you have it. Those are some of my impressions of the Furls Crochet Streamline Swirls. I've never tried their wooden hooks or their Odyssey hooks. So if you're familiar with some of the other hooks from their lines, please let me know what you think in the comments below. Or if you have any other suggestions of some specialty hooks I should try out. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.